I am Felix Rome, a wildlife photographer, and I'm on safari once again, but I'm not in the Maasai Mara. I'm on Mugi Conservancy up north of Kenya, as I'm going to be tracking lions, but in a slightly different way. So that's uh, Sarabi, yeah. and uh, she seems to be on the northern side now. And uh, from the beeping of the sound, um, that tells me that uh, she is uh, moving. Yeah. She's moving because I can hear the fluctuation of the sound. Yeah. Awesome. Should we go try and find her? Yeah, yeah, we should, we should. Perfect. Yeah, we should. Yeah. <laughs> So I completely forgot to introduce the guide. This is the master lion tracker, Solomon. just in these bushes and it looks like he's coming towards us. might do is carry on, see if we can find some grevy zebras, which are highly endangered. There's less than 2,000, isn't that correct? Yeah. Maybe we'll try and track down Gabby's pride? Yes, please. Go yeah. Try Gabby, Gabby pride, that's more of on the east. Perfect. Yeah. And that's the biggest pride that you have here? That's the biggest pride we have yeah. at the moment. How many individuals? Um, at the moment we speak of 20 individuals, 20 yeah. individuals, well known. So that would be, that would be great if we can find them, but Let's see if we can photograph some other animals better. Oh, what a start, what a start. <laughs> So we're trying for the Gabby Pride. Yes. And what you said 11 hours ago they were yeah. th this way. This direction. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, we're getting uh, Gabby's uh, signal on this direction picking up now. I can hear it. So we've just picked up the Gabby Pride signal. They're kind of back the other way, so fingers crossed we can find them. 
So we have found a grevy zebra, just the one, but he's absolutely gorgeous. We found them. So they're just lying in a bush at the moment. They're fairly spread out. Uh, a lot of them are very well hidden, but there is a big dominant male who's just walking through the bushes now. Ah, oh, so cool, the whole tracking process, hearing the beeping getting louder and louder as you get closer and closer, and then eventually you find them. She is the matriarch, the female leader of the pride, and she's the one with the collar. Well, that has been a really epic morning. Very different from trying to find lions in the Mara, which my other videos have been about. Uh, I mean, that was incredible. Solomon, you were awesome. I mean, we found so many lions and I still can't believe we found them <laughs> as early as we did. Yeah. We turned it on first thing this morning. Beep, beep, beep. You know, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're just saying some people and photographers, wildlife photographers, don't like it when lions have collars. They think it ruins the photo. I mean, sure, I can kind of understand that point, but there are many positive reasons for why there are collars on lions. I mean, you said Moogie's a working cattle ranch. Yes. So how, well. how is it helping with all of that? Yeah, it's helping because um, we have cows here. And in the same area, we have lions. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a lion's home. Yeah. So for these two things to coexist together, so she'll know to try to uh, like control the conflict in between. Sure. So if we get to know today that the lions are on this side, then definitely the guys from the tracking office, they're going to tell you that uh, the herdsmen that, okay, keep off from these areas okay. so that to reduce your cows from not being eaten by the lions. So the main office that tracks the movement of the lions, they yes. send a message to the herders and say, yes. they are in this area, yeah. go the other way. And avoid these areas, avoid you should area. take the other area. Makes a lot of sense. Cabeza. So as you say, there's people so, yeah. living all around here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cows, cattle is a livelihood for so many yeah. in Kenya. And yeah. yeah, if you're able to see where the lions are, yeah. it reduces the conflict. Yeah. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been a really different one. I've certainly enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Most welcome. What a brilliant yeah, yeah, morning. Yeah. It was a brilliant one, yeah. yeah. Great. And if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. But until then, have a good one. Awesome. <laughs>